What are your memories of working with such a talent as Amir? Oh, you know, it's really interesting to come to India and not know anything about Bollywood, having to try and give yourself a crash course in Bollywood. I, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know Amir. I knew that he was this huge star. But I think if you if it's not embedded in your culture that he's this huge star, obviously you treat everyone with the same amount of respect, but it, it's course, interesting yeah. to sort of see it in action in front of you, other people, the way that, you know, in the first month or so, I remember there were two youngish girls who had hiked across India to where we were staying in Gujarat to meet Amir. And I, I can't, I don't know why I remember this, but there was something, I don't know whether they had gone missing in order to do this. I can't remember oh. exactly, but they were waiting. They'd come a long way just to catch a glimpse of him. And you realized that it was like working with Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt, someone who is, you know, in a collective psyche, everyone feels they know them. Everyone feels like they're a part of their media watching experience. But it was hard to kind of get up to speed and realize that. But you realize very quickly because A, everybody loves him. B, he's such a genuine guy. He, you can see why they love him. He did, he was on the bus going in every morning with us all. He wasn't like going in some chauffeur driven car. The support mm -hmm. for him and the love around him was really strong and you could sense that straight away. He was a superstar, but he was also part of the team and willing to get his hands very dirty. You could see how hard he was working because he was producing as well. You understood why he was this huge star. You could tell, you could feel it, even if you didn't know it from your own lived experience, you could tell straight away who he was. He was a strong presence, and a great guy to be around.